That is motives of knitting defeat. It's Monday. Monday. That's um. Bolty day. Bolty, bolty, bolty day. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You're going to have to tolerate this every week. Bolty coming along, spoiling things, making videos, making me make videos of it. <laughs> There's also a Jeep Renegade in the yard as well, which will be for a separate video. In fact, it is for a separate video. And as it goes, you've probably already seen it because I've done a review. And uh, hopefully you'll watch it. And you're just doing it again. Just in case I forgot to mention it, Mr. Joe here Hello. of the, car, the, the channel Cars with, with JC, JC. Uh, is looking rather patriotic. No, it's to match the Renegade. He reckons that matches this, but I reckon yeah. it it just shows that he's from Yemen. <laughs> also a guest here is Mr. John Studley. And that should be said with a Scottish accent. John Studley. Hi. Um, who also looks uh, kind of Eastern European. <laughs> but he doesn't agree. No. Just awaiting the arrival of Boaty. Now, Joe has come all the way from Cornwall today to pick up some wheels, which is, uh, shows an awful lot of commitment. And he managed to get here for just after nine o'clock this morning. You don't need sleep, do you, Joe? No. I left you at half three in the morning. Get your face off your fucking ass. Get out of your car and open the gate, Mr. Boaty. You fat lazy twat, we all know you don't need to sit there. I'm not opening the gate for you, you fat lazy twat. <laughs> what a twat. <laughs> Look at it. Where did the road Look at that arrogant face. Where did the road fucking fight? Which one? <laughs> yeah, you've been dogging. <laughs> you look dirty on your back. You look like you've been dragging your ass along the ground somewhere. <laughs> Cheap hobby. <laughs> yeah. Where's the footy phone? Is that on? We're supposed to be filming it. Ah, I forgot. We need to plan. The boat is moaning again. Yes. Does a lot of moaning. I remember Adelstra, the name, because one afternoon of heat, the express train drew up there unwantedly. The 45 doesn't have quite the steering lock that this one does, so he's going to struggle with that a bit, especially as he can't see past me. He'd be best off letting me out first. I'm going that way instead. Unless it's just going on. That is how you annoy people in a Jeep. <laughs> <laughs> a bit confusing so far, isn't it? Yes, very confusing. And don't worry, it's getting more confusing as time goes on. Swaps cars. Now into the Rover 45 diesel. A little silly uh, video video idea that I'm having with Mr. Boaty Boat Man. Boaty, Boaty, Boaty Man. So now we're doing a video with Prince Andrew and the Blackstone Edge and the Dicker Dum Dum and a Jeep. What a strange idea this is. Hopefully it will be a good idea. And not a terrible one, which I am famed for. What do you reckon? I think it should go all right, yeah. Joe's keep it up, but Boaty isn't. <laughs> What's that tell you? That's fun, pretty. Yeah. Oh, look, another 75. <laughs> oh, oh, hello. Uh, well, it's fallen off the road by doing something silly, I guess. Come up to 
blacks managed to basically take pictures of each other, um, taking pictures of each other. Isn't that right, chaps? Yeah. It's to be quiet. Good, out. I do like taking more than that car, I think, will you? <laughs> I had my heated steering wheel on, yeah. I heated seat, I oh, love it, like. Put your big boy pants on yeah. you. <laughs> Prince Albert's owner. I thought you were going to say daddy then. <laughs> not, it's not Prince Albert, it's Prince Andrew. Whatever. It's much more relevant. Where Bolty has the sound, I have the gold. I got first this time. I got first this time. Try and keep up. And back safely at the Yard of Dreams where we shall go and have some lunch in a Momo. But we're not having Momo. We're going to Istanbul in Boaties Dickadundum and he's adjusted the front seat nicely for me. Right, where, where do my legs go? Mustard. And then to the rear, we've got Joe. Hello. And quite frankly, we've got to go. Yeah. Oh! A big blind bugger. A big blind bugger. Yeah. Rich. There's one for you. There's the range. I like pictures of bridges. What's your favourite? They play Hungarian music. Hey, man. Hello, they, Neil. Do they <laughs> serve Hungarian beer? No, they just had a picture of a, of a Hungarian looking man on the outside. Uh, I never think about it, but I've got to say I'm a bit out of my comfort zone. Not being the kind of man that pays for that kind of thing. Right. Whereas obviously you are. No, you're just a cheapskate. You don't pay for any kind of thing. <laughs> we'll see about that. I mean, let's face it. If you... Is that why you don't buy her a Christmas present? Because... I was going to say you only cared about me to go and pass to a person. Oh, that's, the, that's the thing, you get to... Now, if you was a lady with a push chair, would you be cursing this car? Yes, you would. Can we even fit through that gap? Buttocks. <clears throat> couple I'd couple give minutes. 17 to you. you that is one of the problems with parking so far <laughs> off the curb. Thank you, BMW driver. Is it a BMW or an Audi? I can't even tell. I'm going to congratulate you on that question because I think that's a good thing. I prefer jiggery. Do you? Mm. Joe? Jiggery. Oh. John? Jiggery. Right, we're on Milkston Road and we've opened the windows and now... You've only opened yours two inches. Mine's wide open. And the back ones aren't open at all. We're yeah. going to do this. <laughs> do it properly. Where are my back windows? But do you not know where your back windows are? You probably never used them. Do they actually work? Yeah. That one works, yes. 
Yes. All of my little customers have gone because they don't want to smell your peas. <laughs> <laughs> and the surgery was empty for at least another week. They call him Mary Shippies because he shits peas. They call him Mary Shippies because he shits peas. He shits peas on a Tuesday and Wednesday and a Thursday. On Friday he has a day off and Saturday he calls him Barry Shippies because he shits peas. Call him Barry Shippies because he he's got brains. Hiya! Oh, yeah. <laughs> good news! The good news is there is, the good news is up, there to is up to 75% off. off. And you, Bill. Let's join the team! <laughs> they call him. <laughs> Right there, who is beeping? Don't be on. No, don't run that old lady off. <laughs> Alright, mate. Have a day off. Is someone behind beeping? Yeah. Go on, ladies. We're in no rush. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and a roller coaster. And look at the queue. That's how good that fare must be. Which is. Let's get Jason on one of the rides. Well, let's get ready to run. Let's get me on all of them. Yeah. yeah. Car and Rotty. Should go there one day. Got this little dark. You bought it off Facebook Marketplace. I think if I remember. Yo. All around his face, he had these random. Just one. And I could manage five. Five. Yeah. Five. Why? Is there something wrong with that? Okay. But pulling it out of a stop dice cream. Right, it is time to end this particular video because we're now in the caravan about to have lunch with chat. Now what we're about to do is a live stream rather than finishing off the video. Mm. So what do you reckon, Booty? You complained at me that you've brought along your heavy drinking fuel 45 to do this comparison video because I forgot to bring mine. And now you just want to do a live stream rather than carry on with the video. <coughs> I guess wanted to do a live and <laughs> we can we can do it's the your video. Best video. actually said we should finish the video. When it then goes dark we should do the live. And I got what was it? I can't be bothered now. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, my lovelies! <laughs> How about that for a conclusion? I bet you wasn't expecting that. You'd have been expecting Bolty to bang on about how much better the V6 was than diesel. And for me to be saying the opposite but in fact neither of us said anything because he got distracted doing something else that happens quite a lot so I'm going to say thank you for watching episode 2 of Mustard and Boaty and thank you from Boaty and thank you for being a channel member and thank you for liking this video Thank you for watching it this far. And I'll see you in a proper video next time. I remember Adelstrap, the name. Because one afternoon of heat, the express train grew up there unwantedly. It was late June, the steam hissed. Someone cleared his throat. No one left and no one came on the bare platform. What I saw was Adelstrap. Only the name. And Willows. Willow herb and grass. Best stop at 20 seconds before people And meadow sweet 